Hello, in this video I will be reviewing the Chamberlain motion sensor with base and the Chamberlain wireless add-ons. The motion sensor with base is part number CWA2000C and the add-on sensor is CWPIRC. These can be purchased on the Amazon website or Home Depot for about $75 Canadian which is about $50 US and for the sensor alone it's about $50 Canadian, 30 US. I purchased a motion sensor and base and two additional motion sensors. I live on an acreage and I wanted to have some sort of in-house notification anytime somebody came onto my property or any type of animals came onto my property. I've been using them for about two years and I want to share with you some of the pros and cons that I've been experiencing. So let's start off by having a look at the base. There's a learn button on the back and that's used when changing batteries or starting off new. The antenna on the side swivels up and down. There's a power button and a volume up and down button. And of course it's an AC adapter with a standard plug in the back. These sensors are pretty simple. They have a black antenna on the side and uh, the bodies are made out of plastic. Here is the manufacturer's overview for this product. If you'd like to have a read, pause the video. Otherwise, I'm going to carry on right now. So let's have a look at the things I liked about this product. It's easy to install. Yeah, that's true. I didn't want to be drilling holes into uh, fence posts and railing to install this, so I used some wiring just to put it on to ensure that was in the right spot. And when I was ready to install it permanently, I would use screws. Next is the device works great in the winter in minus 30 degrees Celsius, minus 22 Fahrenheit. Haven't tested it too much below that, but no issues in the deep cold. Thirdly, the range has been great. Sensors are outside, the base is inside. I've tried the base in numerous rooms upstairs in the basement. No issues at all for the connectivity, the communication from the sensor to the base. There is a power button and a mute button right on the base. The power button is great for if I go away on vacation. The mute button is great if I'm mowing the lawn and just needed to uh, turn off the volume for a short period of time. So let's have a look at what I don't like about this product. First of all, the alarms are only distinguishable by the number of beeps. And in my case, sensor 1 has 2 beeps, sensor 2 has 3 beeps, and sensor 4 has 4 beeps. So when I'm lying in bed at night and I hear four beeps, does that mean sensor three has been triggered or sensor one has been triggered twice? In other words, I gotta check two locations to see what's triggering the motion sensor. The next issue I have is around false alarms and misalarmed. So the reliability of the product. So for people, pets, and rabbits, and foxes, any type of wildlife, it's about 90% accurate. I do get the alarm. But for vehicles, only about 75%. So I've done a little research on this, and it seems that the sensor is a PIR sensor, and that picks up differences in heat. So with a vehicle, it'll be the same temperature as the outdoors, and we'll, we'll be able to get by the sensor without triggering it. Here's a quick experiment. I'm going to try to get by the motion sensor without triggering it. The distance between the two gate posts here is 20 feet. So let's test that one more time by walking back. This time I was able to sneak through without the sensor picking me up. The third issue which I have with this product is maintenance. Spiders love to hang out inside of the little area where the motion sensor is, setting it off constantly. They also like to build nests in there and build webs, which then prohibit the sensor from actually triggering a real alarm. In the wintertime, snow likes to build up in there. There doesn't have to be much wind for snow to accumulate and then block off the sensor. So in the wintertime, whenever there's snow, I have to clean it out. And in the summertime, I have to go out at least once a week and remove any dust and debris and spiders and nests from that area. 
The next issue I have is their claim that their item is weatherproof. Yes, it's spending a lot of time outdoors, but the sun and the weather has weakened the plastic and it almost feels brittle. I give this six to seven years before it's off to the landfill. Lastly, I think the sensors are ugly. It's a big plastic blob, a weird color, granny panties color, and it sticks off the fence or wherever they decide to put it, it sticks out like a sore thumb. I just like to see something a little more compact, a little th something a little more stylish. So that concludes my review. I give this product 3 out of 5 stars. I bought this to uh, notify me of uh, any uh, anybody entering my premises and it hasn't been able to do that as expected. So um, that's the main reason why I purchased it and it hasn't been fulfilling uh, that requirement. So uh, 3 out of 5. So uh, thanks for watching uh, this review. Uh, please like it if you like it and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as I get them posted. Thank you.